Today, just thought about revisiting one of my all time favorite lenses that I own, and it's this vintage lens by Olympus. It's a Zoico 50mm 1.4, and it's my very first and currently only vintage lens that I own. And I thought of just making this video just to show you guys some of the images that I was able to snap and capture at the moment while still in lockdown. So, do forgive me if you do find the images a little bit mundane, but yeah, what can I do? I'm still in lockdown. So, you must be be wondering what's so good about owning something old like a vintage lens and what are the advantages of using it well for me the passion of owning one first really started because I really love how these vintage lenses look and I have to admit I'm a sucker of very old school looking lenses because they look so mechanical and I'm so attracted to mechanical beauty because I like that industrial look but after using this lens for a while that superficial love for these type of lenses evolved into something a little more skin deep and and now I kind of love vintage lenses for the actual images it's able to produce. The beauty about owning a vintage lens is the fact that you literally kind of have a little time machine in your hands and it's just the best feeling in the world in my opinion. So you must be wondering what do I mean by that statement like having a little time machine. Well let's put it this way. The vintage lens that you shoot with was built in a different era and everything about it remains the same, including the qualities of light it manages to capture through its lens elements. So when you shoot with a vintage lens, you literally can capture the same essence that made a shot look the way it did back then. And I find that reason alone so intriguing and that is why I love vintage lenses so much. It's like having superhero powers to view things in the same light as people in the past would have viewed it. None of that absolutely sterile and pin shot quality that we get today from modern lenses. And I think that quality alone is the whole charm of owning and using vintage lens in my opinion. It's definitely not perfect and it definitely has flaws but it's just so unapologetically real. It's not trying to be some kind of perfect lens. And don't get me wrong here, I still do love some of my sharper modern lenses. However, I feel there is a time and place for everything I guess. And that's why what makes owning a vintage lens also so special. There's this wonderful sense of occasion using it when you do have days that you want to just indulge a little in the art of snapping an image and not merely just pointing and shooting to get that perfect shot. For me, the whole involvement process of making a shot with a manual vintage lens is just so rewarding, especially when you nail the shot because you know everything that was involved in making that shot was done by you. I mean, like how much more rewarding is that? Kind of like driving a manual Manual car, I guess. However, I have to admit, I don't miss the clutch pedal at all. Anyway, vintage lenses is definitely far from perfect, but it leaves this warm, fuzzy feeling inside every time you shoot with it because somehow you feel you have a connection with the past, and also the fact that you kind of can have a glimpse of how people in the past used to view their images through the cameras. And that to me is just something so special and priceless. I guess it's like a painting too, because through all paintings, we are able to view the world and have a snapshot of what it was really like decades or even centuries ago and it gives us an idea of how people were like and how they perhaps viewed their world. So whenever you're out there and you feel like getting a new lens, perhaps pause first and this time why not grab something old instead just for the fun of it and see what the world looks like through an older lens. The best part is that vintage lenses aren't too expensive right now and you really you can stretch your buck with it. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this short video. I know there's nothing spectacular about the shots in it. I just thought of doing it because I just love vintage lenses and I'm always drawn back to using it every now and again. Sorry, it's not a technical kind of a review, but it's just me sort of like rambling away and just sort of like sharing some of the things that I do enjoy about vintage lenses. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. By the way, if you did like the content in here, please don't forget to give me a like, share and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.